recognize Ms. Custer for five minutes for questions. Thank you, Chairman Guthrie. I appreciate it. I want to echo many of my colleagues' support for today's discussion about the important role that Medicare plays in improving access to innovative drugs, game-changing medical devices, and emerging health technology. Innovation in Medicare is a defining feature of our health care system, and I'm excited to co-lead and co-sponsor several of the bills that we're considering including the Kidney Patient Act, which I lead with Representative Carter to preserve access to important medications for people on dia dialysis, and several bills today bringing Medicare coverage into the modern era, including the FIND Act, Access to Prescription Digital Therapeutics Act, and ensuring patient access to critical breakthrough products of 2023. I'm also proud to support the Nancy Gardner Sewell Medicare Multi-Cancer Early Detection Screening Coverage Act to increase access to multi-cancer screening tests. And I want to thank the witnesses for being here with us and for being part of the solution in modernizing Medicare. One of the bills for consideration would eliminate co-payments for low-income patients with Medicare Part D coverage for generic drugs. By eliminating copayments for these lower cost alternatives, we can incentivize people with Medicare drug coverage to choose generic drugs over more expensive brand name products. Eliminating copayments for low cost generics has two benefits. First, it saves patients money, and second, it saves Medicare money. This is a win win. Dr. Hughes, do you agree that increasing generic drug utilization will reduce overall drug spending? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, it has um, certainly been an area of focus for CMS in terms of increasing utilization of generic drugs. I would also note uh, we have recently uh, increased assistance for patients who are receiving low-income subsidies um, to help them better afford uh, their, um, their drug and um, necessary medications. Do you think eliminating copayments for generic drugs for low-income subsidy beneficiaries will help more people use generics? Uh, thank you for that. I haven't seen the, uh, the exact uh, evidence on that exact question, uh, um, but I would say certainly we know that uh, even small copays can uh, pose a, a challenge for patients with who are lower income uh, and potentially reduce their filling their prescription or staying on their medicines. Great, thank you. The Inflation Reduction Act made many changes to the structure of the Part D benefit and expanded the low-income subsidy to reach more beneficiaries. Dr. Hughes, can you briefly discuss these changes and specifically the impact on low-income Part D beneficiaries? Yeah, thank you for that. Um, through the IRA, a number of changes have been made to the Part D, some that have been implemented. For example, the great assistance to low-income uh, beneficiaries. We've also uh, eliminated co-pays for um, uh, vaccinations. Uh, we are uh, looking... That was our bill. Oh, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, we um, are certainly uh, um, down the pike. There will be a cap at $2,000 out-of-pocket cost sharing for beneficiaries, in addition to, of course, reducing the, the price of drugs. And so uh, we are uh, very much um, working very hard to implement the bills to make sure that our Medicare beneficiaries have access to the drugs that they need and can afford um, these products. And do you have a time frame for when the cap of $2,000 for um, prescription medication will go into effect and how that will impact uh, Americans on Medicare across this country? Uh, thank you for that question. I, uh, I would note I am uh, uh, not with the Center of Medicare, of course, and so they would uh, be the better responders, but my understanding is this cap will go into effect in 2025, if I'm not mistaken. And but we can get back to you with more information on that. And it will cap the out-of-pocket expense for Medicare beneficiaries at $2,000 per year. That is my understanding. Great. Well, thank you for that. Uh, Democrats worked very, very hard last session, and we're committed to lowering prescription drug costs and delivering savings to seniors in every state. So thank you, and I yield back. Thank you. The gentlelady yields back. The chair recognizes.